NHS England and Bob, a new enterprise intranet for all staff. Who is NHS England? NHS England is the new body whose aim is to improve health outcomes for people across England and will set the overall direction and priorities for the NHS. The organisation is made up of 6,500 staff and this number is expected to grow. Many of the staff work remotely or while mobile. What problem did they face? NHS England is a complex organisation with staff spread across more than 50 sites. They obviously need to work together. They need to develop and publish documents and other content. They need to communicate as one joined up organisation and deliver efficient business processes internally and externally. They identified the need for what we would call an enterprise intranet and we were asked to help build it for them. In terms of the technology, NHS England had already begun adoption of Microsoft SharePoint Online which is part of Microsoft Office 365, Microsoft's cloud-based solution. Although SharePoint Online is a powerful platform, it is not a business solution out of the box. Most of their needs were able to be met by our Hadron 8020 solution, however, and so work began. What's so special about the solution? NHS England is the largest NHS organisation to date to use SharePoint Online. The business needs are complex and varied, and the timescales that they needed were faster than had ever been attempted, just 24 days, where the industry average is 24 weeks. NHS England's intranet, which they've affectionately named Bob, reached user acceptance testing within the timescales required. It did this with the full set of features, a broad and deep information architecture, smart search that really works, and fully touched enabled interface that allows it to be used on all types of tablet, so Windows, Android and iPads, as well as smartphones. And here's how it looks. With Hadron 8020, NHS England can engage in a dynamic, evolving conversation that sparks ideas and new ways of solving problems, no matter where the staff are. There's a lot of focus on discussions and social feeds, on organisation notification alerts and team areas. The home page, which you see here, presents this, with news being displayed from Central News Centre and also localised news based on the current user. The home page also presents the full search capability as well as the important ability to find other members of staff. Teams. Each directorate in NHS England has its own site, the information about the directorate and who leads it. Within these sites are team working areas for members of staff to work collaboratively with their colleagues, to store and manage documents, to take advantage of OneNote for paperless working and much more. Department specific news is also presented as well as local announcements etc. Document Centre. The Central Document Centre gives the entire organisation access to critical documents such as policies and procedures. There are also sites for managing the creation and maintenance of new policies for example. These feature dashboards for document expiry and other management information. PMO. An organisation-wide project management office lies within the Project Centre providing collaborative project management within strategic programmes and directorates. Individual project sites support document and information capture, email archives, tasks and project timelines, risk and issue logs and other tools to support successful delivery of projects. Alongside the user-focused staff room is the discussion centre. This aggregates discussions from across the organisation and encourages open working and knowledge sharing. It is supplemented by the Knowledge Hub, which allows useful documents and information to be captured and shared. This helps minimise the burden of having to call other staff for common information needs, such as brand colours, VAT number, trust number, etc. Within the Knowledge Hub lie other centres, such as a room booking centre and a basic events management site. There's also a survey centre for publishing surveys to staff across the entire organisation. There's the help centre, which informs people about how to use the internet that they've got. And there's the all-important news centre. The news centre is used to manage news, publish newsletters, allow the organisation to access the CEO or executive blog. It also includes a message centre for pushing out critical alerts and warnings to users of the intranet. Search is available everywhere. It allows you to select sub-areas within the intranet for specific searches. It also extends to search external sites such as NHS Evidence or from within Bob. Search is very powerful within Bob, finding all the documents and sites and pieces of information right across the entire intranet. Search features instant previews and the ability to filter out information very rapidly, for instance, based on 
recent content only. Finally, every user has their own My Site. This is an area where they can update their personal profile, store personal information, and take care of other things which are specific to their needs. To summarize, Bob is a huge, highly sophisticated intranet based on Cloud2's mature Hadron 8020 intranet solution and running in the cloud on SharePoint Online. It provides a wide range of business tools and capabilities for NHS England, enabling staff to develop new effective ways of working, including paperless and mobile. It was able to be delivered in a remarkably short period of time, 24 days from first workshop to UAT, and was launched to staff in early February, just three months after the project was agreed. NHS England is in the process of migrating their content into Bob, of training users, and learning what further benefits it can bring. If you need something from NHS England, you could start by asking Bob.